Hi folks, welcome to the Radio Shack. It's been a while since I've done a Shack video, so uh, today we're going to look at one of our receivers which I'm having a little bit of a problem with. Still using the uh, Yaesu uh, FTDX3000 for most of my uh, listening work on the shortwave and the amateur bands and the utility bands. Also got the uh, Kenwood TS2000 uh, transceiver, which is an HF uh, and VHF UHF uh, transceiver, but uh, I'm using it mainly on VHF and UHF. Also got, got the uh, little Yaesu FRG100 uh, receiver, which I don't use much at all these days, and uh, occasionally I'll take it out on a bit of a de-expedition, but I actually need to turn it on a little more often just to get those volts flowing through the circuits, because it helps to keep the circuits up and going. Uh, but the one that I'm going to look at today is the uh, the Kenwood R5000 receiver, which is one I picked up at a ham fest about you know, a little over 12 months ago, and I've been gradually putting it together. It was pretty beaten up when I got it. Um, and I've done a couple of other videos that you can have a look at on the sort of work that I've been doing over, um, over the last few months. But there's one little problem that's annoying me with this receiver at the moment, and that is the frequency readout is not accurate. And uh, I'll show you what, what I mean in a second. We can have a look at it and, and uh, really see if we can uh, uh, tighten that up, make some adjustments to, uh, to tighten that up. So, let's get started. Okay, we've got it set on 10 megahertz there for WWV and WWVH. Uh, but as we tune around, you'll hear that it sort of feels like it needs to be a bit lower than that. Feels like it wants to sit around about that frequency there. This is on the wide uh, filter. Same thing, it still wants to sit around 9.999.5 megahertz instead of 10. Try it on USB. So there's the telltale sign there. When you're switching between AM and USB, the pitch of uh, WWV is, is not changing. So there we can tell that it's uh, around 34, 35 hertz to the low side of uh, 10 megahertz. So we want to see if we can try and get that up for a more accurate reading. Here's the circuit diagram for the R5000, or at least part of it. The full circuit diagram goes over a number of pages. So we're looking at the phase lock loop unit, or part of that circuit diagram, and just down about on the left hand side, past halfway down, there is a 18 kilohertz crystal oscillator, X1. And there's also a transistor next to it, part of that circuit Q1 and there's TC1 and that's the trimmer capacitor there and what we want to do is uh, adjust that trimmer capacitor so that we can uh, get that signal right on our frequency of 10 megahertz as provided by WWV and WWVH Also from the workshop manual, we're looking now at the printed circuit board so that we can locate exactly where those components are. 
and again they're down the lower left hand side of the page and there is TC1 the trimmer capacitor that we're going to adjust okay we've turned the uh, transceiver over on its back uh, we've taken out nine screws and taken the bottom cover off I've spared you the agony of watching me take out the screws and this is the phase lock loop board here and here is the shielded area with the crystal inside it which is right there you can only see the tip of it here and then there is the trimmer capacitor right down below Okay, well, it's taken some time, quite a bit of fiddling around to, to get it somewhere near where I wanted. Uh, but it's looking better. We'll put the cover back on and turn it right side up and have a look at what we've done. What should have been an easy job proved to be a little bit more of a nuisance and time consuming than I thought it would be. I had 10 different types of plastic alignment tools and none of them seem to fit. So I got one of them and altered it and scraped it and got it down to a nice sharp edge so that I could uh, uh, move that trimmer capacitor around. Well, I hope you found that interesting. Uh, it's good to be able to get that frequency read out a little more accurate than it was before. And that means that I'm going to be using this receiver a lot more often than I was. Thanks for stopping by the Radio Shack and uh, hope to see you again soon. This is Rob, VK3BVW from the Mount Evelyn DX Report. 73s and all the best.